Hello friends, this is Jimmy from Can Have an Immigration Canada. Uh, in this video, I just want to talk about uh, two new updates. Uh, one is for British Columbia PNP and another one for Saskatchewan SINP. Both are PNP, they have a little bit uh, of updates. Uh, let's start with the British Columbia first. So they have invited 225 candidates in the latest draw for their provincial nominee program that held on April the 18th. British Columbia said the invitation were issued to qualified registrant who had a job offer in one of the tech pilot program. They have 32 technology occupations in that. So if you guys have uh, uh, the qualified job offer from any of the BC employer and you fall into that category, so you might have got that invitation. This program was created in 2017, the tech pilot, and they really need the technology people in the province uh, along with Ontario. Ontario is also behind all those engineers, skilled trades, kind of people who have the, who have the good IELTS score. The last time we've seen the French score with the French uh, test given and the score went up, to, went down to 351. So. In this category, the draw was happened on April 18, 2018, and the minimum score for the Express Entry BC Skilled Worker was 89, Express Entry BC International Graduate 89, Skilled Worker 84, International Graduate in the Skilled Immigration 84, and the Entry Level and Semi-Skilled for 50. So a total of 225 ITAs issued for the BC province. Now have a look at the Saskatchewan uh, nominee program SINP. So they have issued 231 nominations, but this time is only for the entrepreneur categories. Uh, that draw also happened on April 18th this month. The minimum score went down to 90 points. If somebody had 90 or above under the entrepreneur category, and if your file is complete and you must have received the nomination from SINP. The entrepreneur category allows successful applicants to start, obtain, or partner in a business in Saskatchewan and actively manage it while residing in the province with your accompanying family members if they want to come with you. Successful applicants first receive a temporary work permit that allow them to work in Saskatchewan. Then after that, they can apply for the permanent resident after fulfilling all the terms and conditions for the business performance agreement, which you guys will do with the government of Saskatchewan. If we look at the eligibility criteria for entrepreneur candidate, the minimum net worth requirement is 500,000 Canadian dollars, and the investment requirement is 200,000. This uh, figure is raised to 300,000 if the investment is made within the cities of Saskatoon or Regina. So if you want to live in those uh, metro cities, you have to have 300,000 invested in a business. If you want to live somewhere else in Saskatchewan, the investment is 200,000. So anybody who scored 90 or above, they must have received that invitation by now. So this was, these were two of the updates for the PNP program. The government of Canada again issued a warning for the international students who are getting scammed by people here in Canada. So a lot of call, the, the international students are receiving a lot of calls from the fraudsters and they are saying we are from the government of Canada, from IRCC, Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship Canada. So you guys, uh, I mean to say the student, so they tell them you guys have done something wrong on your application and you have done some, there have been charges with a crime in your home country. The, now you can be deported or your case can be given to the police. You guys can get arrested. So if somebody give you a call, if you are a student in Canada, somebody give you a call like that, it means it's a fraud. Uh, immigration and Refugee Citizenship of Canada, they never give you a phone call about anything like that and they never ask you for money in favor. 
like if they are saying like we're sending a police to your residence and you get arrested otherwise give us some money in the form of credit card the prepaid credit card or the gift card or money transfers or wires wire transfer to this account number this is all fraud please make sure you guys do not give them any of your personal information the good thing hang up the phone and if you are still in uh, doubt you guys can call CIC you all can get their number online go to their website and find their number and call and ask if they have tried to contact you mostly they contact you with the email or with the letter if there is any problem in with your account or with your history or something otherwise they will never give you a call and they won't ask for any money upfront there will be they will give you enough time to go through your case and give them a satisfactory answer so these are all fraud calls make sure you are not being involved in that do not get scammed do not give them any form of your information or any money just hang up the phone call the local police give them the number where the call is coming from so they can deal with that so these were some of the updates uh, i will bring some more update as soon as that get the information until then have a good day